Hey everyone, welcome back to the PBS S, the Potential Bigfoot Sasquatch Show here on Homesteading Off the Grid. We've got some mosquitoes out here this morning. It's early. I don't know if you can tell by the lighting or not, but uh, it's just after 6 a.m. and I'm out here early, early like I always am, and today I'm planting. Bigfoot Sasquatch sized pumpkins for the perfect Halloween jack-o'-lantern uh, pumpkins this coming October. It's towards the end of May right now. You have about, here in zone seven, we've got up to about a month left to get our pumpkin seeds in the ground to get a nice harvest by October. So I wanna show you how to grow, not these puny little 300 and 400 pound pumpkins, I just ask one favor, while you're watching this tutorial, please get my six, watch back in here. The reason I decided to actually make this video is because while I've been out here doing this, I have felt the hairs on the back of my neck standing up. And potentially, the entity that potentially gifted us these potential Bigfoot Sasquatch seeds, pumpkin seeds, has been watching to make sure we are planting them. So keep your eyes open back here, okay? Now, <clears throat> let's get started. As you might imagine, the first thing you need, of course, when planting Bigfoot Sasquatch sized pumpkins are Bigfoot Sasquatch pumpkin seeds. As you can tell, it's way, way bigger than those puny little 300 pounder pumpkin seeds you get in the store. So where do you get Bigfoot Sasquatch sized pumpkin seeds? Well, you go to your local Bigfoot Sasquatch gifting spot. We have one up here. Um, on the edge of our wood line, where last year, just after Halloween, first part of October, we actually gifted our potential Bigfoot Sasquatch, who we believe may or may not be living in the forest behind our homestead, our jack-o'-lanterns. A couple days later, we find what appeared to be giant pumpkin seeds. So, about three weeks ago, to confirm this, we planted some in a pot, and sure enough, we're getting pumpkins. So, you can plant them in the pot, or you can go directly in the ground, and that's what I've been out here doing this morning. It looks like a mess. Kind of looks like a mess back here, but there's actually a method to this madness. This is cardboard I've laid down where there are no seeds planted. This is to help provide for a weedless garden. As the pumpkins grow, only the pumpkins grow. There's no weeds growing around for me to have to weed. So anyway, let's say you don't have access to potentially Bigfoot Sasquatch sized pumpkin seeds because you don't believe and so you know, you don't give them a chance, they're not gonna give you a chance. So you can't get these. And you have to go to the store and you have to get normal sized, ordinary pumpkin seeds and grow normal sized, ordinary pumpkins. Fret not, because you can still make them way bigger than they would traditionally be if you feed them properly. And that's where this comes in. I'm gonna tell you what this stuff is. This is a, a mix I've kind of been making myself here as of late with good success. Uh, we started, we used some of this mix to start the pumpkins that you just saw in the pot. It is a 50-50 mix of pure earthworm castings and uh, relatively well decomposed oak leaves, which uh, you know if you garden is known as black gold. Hold on. Let's do a quick scan of the tree line here.
So about four months ago, I bought a thousand red wigglers online for I think 30 or $40. Look at that centered right there. It's about 400 yards away. Keep your eyes on it. Okay, so four months ago, I bought all these red wigglers, kept them in a worm bin, fed them all winter. Where'd they go? Hold on. All right, now those two dark figures are gone. Put your headphones on and go back about three seconds and listen. Okay, so now we're using pure worm castings with a 50-50 mix of that and the black gold oak leaf mold. Here's how you do it. Make sure I get back here far enough for y'all to see. You dig your hole, you want your Bigfoot Sasquatch pumpkin seed to go about two inches down. But instead of covering it up with the, with the soil you just dug up from the ground, you cover it up with your Bigfoot Sasquatch seed food fertilizer mix. And that's all there is to it. Let's go for a walk, folks. I'll put water on top of that seed here when I get back, but whatever we saw up here seems to have ducked inside the tree line, so we're gonna go up here and see if we can see it. And I'll keep you updated throughout the year as far as the results I'm getting from my potential Bigfoot Sasquatch sized pumpkins. actually our gifting spot up here now you probably noticed in that garden spot there were there were chickens behind me just on the other side of the fence I take that fence down after we've harvested our garden in late summer early fall and I let the chickens eat what remains of any vegetation that we've grown. They eat the bugs, of course. They scratch up or till up naturally the soil all winter. We're going for the bum rush. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, they seem to have escaped through their portal yet again. Get your pumpkin seeds in the ground soon. And we'll be back with more next time.